Hi everyone, this is your daily tarot reading for Monday the 19th of November 2018. Thanks for joining me. I'm using the original Ryder Smith deck. And as always, if you're a beginner, get this deck or get the Radiant Rider Weight deck because all other tarot cards are based on these, pretty much. So we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. We have the Two of Pentacles. And then we have the Moon. Okay. So the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a beautiful, beautiful woman. And it's... We all want this woman in our lives. She takes care of us. She is pure. She's a, she's the queen. So it's not like she's naive or innocent because she's never been exposed to anything. She's be, been exposed to everything in life. Abandonment, rejection, true love, pain, loss, grief, everything. But rather than become bitter and upset about it, she's decided to choose the light and to be a presence of healing and someone who nurtures and cares usually in the suit of cups the cups are just regular cups but because she's put so much energy into this she's built it into this beautiful uh, trophy so it's just a it's just a symbol that if you give enough of yourself and you nurture and you care you can really create something wonderful but the queen of cups is also associated with reiki healing spiritual healing just getting a hug or connecting with like a, a motherly figure and feeling nurtured and just feeling like someone loves me and everything's going to be okay and that's in reverse today so emotionally, you may not be feeling 100% on top of your game. But what you can do is you can manage your physical circumstances, your body, your work. Whether you're going to wear a condom or not. I'm joking. All of those things you can still manage. Okay, you can see the water in the background. Sometimes the ships are up, sometimes they're down. So this guy, he realizes that and it's in the background, he ignores it. So it's like, okay, I go into work, I feel very anxious. So rather than focus on the anxiety, I get there at nine, I turn the computer on, I start doing some work and I feel like I'm getting things done that were hanging over my head. And then by maybe 11 or 12, the anxiety wears off because you've proven to yourself that you're grounding yourself in work, if you're retired in the work that you're doing, or also going to a spiritual community, you have the infinite power to manage your life as best as you can. And today you're not ruled and governed by your emotions. If anything, you're full of energy and it's like, okay, I've seen this before, I've done this before, I don't need to give it a lot of energy. And if anything, today is a great day to get things done and to move forward. So finally, we have the moon here. And the moon is also about moving forward, but it's a scary journey. So... Wherever you are on this path, it's going to be, it's going to be difficult. Let's say you're coming down from up there. You have to walk, you have to walk through this doorway, which feels kind of ominous. The moon is up there angry. It's a full moon. So it's got lots of power over you to make you feel unsettled. There's danger there. And when it comes to the watery things, your feelings, again, there's this sense of, oh my God, if I look at my feelings, I, or if I start crying now, I'll never be able to stop. Or if I don't keep a lid on my feelings today, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna melt into a puddle. So the main focus today, I would suggest is not to focus so much on, am I loved? Am I, am I taken care of? Exercise self-care, you can do that by doing something nice for yourself. Take a bubble bath, meditate, buy yourself something nice, go on a nice walk. Um, 
get yourself a pet, anything that you want. Do something nice for yourself. Don't shirk your responsibilities to work and continue because that's the biggest gift today. And it's two and it's a Roman numeral two. And that symbol in astrology is Gemini. And Gemini is about doorways opening and communication and moving through those doorways to move ahead. So in terms of your fine financial life, you may get off the endless rep re repetitiveness of it all by moving through a different doorway and by progressing. So he's dressed all in red and orange. There's control and passion. So this might be a day where you decide to say this job, I've learned everything I can from it. I care about myself. I know starting something new may be really scary, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because my feelings don't rule me today. What I've been there and done that. I've been afraid. I've worried about money. I felt unloved. Who cares? Old news. We've all been there. Didn't kill me last time. Won't kill me this time. What am I going to focus on today to be happiest? Making my practical circumstances fit me. Me, me, me. So that's the important thing. To um, use that energy and to say, do I want to keep doing the existing job and do it best I can? let the ships go by and same thing just deal with the ups and downs and succeed or am i getting an exit here and leaving this job behind or the daily routine and i'm going to walk a new path either to discover what my real feelings are and to face them or to just do something i'm passionate about and to leave this job that doesn't serve me anymore and to move on and to say all right, I'm scared because I've been here 10 years. What if no one's going to hire me? But I, I just can't do this anymore. And if that is, I can't do it anymore, then your feelings are ruling you. And they are governing you. So don't quit a job because of, I can't do this anymore. That's not a positive. Quit a job when you feel like, okay, it's taught me everything I can learn. You feel positive about where you are in your life you feel positive about future opportunities if you're really smart you'll line up a new job before you quit the old one as always that's kind of scary but this monday is an amazing monday for anyone who wants to overcome their own fears to step out of their comfort zone in terms of their work in terms of their health in terms of their daily routine so you know trying a holistic method of healing if you've never gone down that road different way of approaching your health and just continuing on and not letting your feelings dictate to you but rather trying to look at what you can do today and what opportunities arise and whether they make sense to you on a logical practical financial level and try and keep the emotions out of his, out of it as much as possible. Because the, the emotions, if you try and get your answers that way, and a lot of us live our lives by our emotions, you know? I feel like I need to do that, so I'm going to do it. A lot of us feel that's how we make decisions. But that's not the best option today, because the Queen of Cups is in reverse, so there's a sense of, I'm not getting the information I usually get. And then also there's a sense of why, what's, what's happening? Why don't I feel the sunlight or spirit anymore? Why am I all alone here having to handle all this by myself? And the answer is because you've progressed so much that you're now on your own level and it's your choice whether you want to continue with what you're doing, which you've certainly outgrown, But he is dressed in red and orange. So this could be the head of a huge corporation and he's passionate and happy about it and handling it. So yes, that's the choice. Am I passionate and happy in the current job and am I, am I going to continue it? That's, if the answer is yes, then go for that. If not, and a job comes up that pays you 10 grand more for the same responsibilities and the same hours, 
then of course you're going to use that opportunity and go for that other job. So that might be scary and you're not being spoon fed or held by the hand. You have to do it as a grown up solo. So whenever you have to do things solo as a grown up and feel your feelings, that's not easy for a lot of people. So connecting with your higher self, your higher power, asking for help, asking the ascended masters, asking the creator, the universe, God, please help me today. Let me see the opportunities in my financial life, in my working life, and the opportunities that can lead me to improve my health. And please help me keep my emotional life in check and not get swept away by an emotion that's going to last three hours and then be gone. And it's totally turned your life around. And then you're standing there like without a job. <laughs> and it's like, what just happened? It's like an emotional tornado it just runs through your life. And then you're like, okay, I have to decide because this feeling is so strong. It must be right. So take a little bit of time before you act on a feeling or yeah, a feeling mainly. Analyze it first with your intellect. So you feel something, don't immediately run out and do it. Just look at it for a second. Yes, it feels exciting, wonderful, great. But look at it in a practical way. Does it actually make sense? If it does, do it. If it doesn't, other ideas will pop up. So it's a great start to the week. Focus on productivity, really. You know, not every day can be sunshine and kittens and roses emotionally. And today isn't. It's about uh, show us what you got. You can either make the day easy by working and being practical and focusing on practical matters, or you can make the day difficult for yourself by trying to figure out something emotionally that really you're not being supported in that area today via the cards. So don't waste your time and get something done in the real world. So I hope you have a great start to the week. Number wise was one and two is three. 15, 16, 17, 18 is 21. Two and one is three. Three is about new beginnings and it's about communication. Gemini is about communication and walking through doors of opportunities which also are new beginnings. Every door you walk through is a new beginning. So a lot of people are gonna really have a fabulous day in terms of making their working lives and their jobs better. And a lot of people are also gonna learn how to kind of control the emotional onslaught and to feel their feelings. So it's a great day all round for us to kind of step out of our comfort zone to, pro to progress and to learn something. I hope you have a great day. If you would like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. In my personal readings, I use the tarot, astrology, and numerology. The astrology chart shows me what your vocational talents are, so what the right job is for you, whether it's clockmaker or in civil engineer. It also shows me what your life purpose is on a soul level and where you've been in past lifetimes. It shows me what's destined for you in work and love, health, romance, spiritual progress, and I can answer any questions you may have. So if you are interested, please do get in touch via the website, gregoryscott.com. Please hit the subscribe button on this YouTube channel if you like my videos, and I'll speak to you tomorrow.